Dead Grin Immortals. You are watching Dead Grin's Customs. Like this video and subscribe to this channel before I destroy you all. Don't you like this color? Isn't it as beautiful as his customs? Go on, worship this channel or else. What is going on, Dead Grinners? This is Dead Grin, and welcome to another episode of Dead Grin's Customs. Today, we're going to discuss my thoughts on the um, Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars figures, so the waves one and two, particularly in this video. This is going to be a three-part series where I'm going to discuss this uh, wave, these two first waves, and the other, and the other waves in other videos. Today, we're going to focus on waves one and two. Which consisted of uh, Super Saiyan Goku, Beerus, and base form Vegeta for the first wave. And then Super Saiyan Vegeta, Frieza, and base form Goku in the second wave. And of course with both of these we ended up having the Shenron build a figure. Now what did I think about the, I guess the, 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 the ones I repeat which were the Goku and Vegeta. They're basically the same mold. All they do is change the hair color on. It's basically a repaint for the Vegeta. And they have a whole head sculpt different for Goku. Personally, I think these were the best Vegeta and best Goku that we had probably for a while. From all, I mean, I'm when I talk about the Dragon Star series. Um... Obviously, we didn't have anything else to base it on except existing figures like uh, Figure Right, Figure Right Standard, and uh, SH Figure Arts, and the Ben Presto statues and all that stuff. So, as far as details went, um, obviously, um, they're not up to standards. You know, for, for everybody who was already used to the SH Figure Arts, um, of course, there is a really huge price difference, and that's one of the very things that I want to mention first: the price is what probably attracted me the most to these figures it's a good in between I guess for um, anybody who wants a Dragon Ball figure but they don't want to waste as much as a figure ice or even um, a SH figure arts uh, these guys all came at twenty dollars or nineteen ninety nine and then if you went on times where they were actually on sale at GameStop or somewhere else you were able to, you know, get them for maybe even cheaper than that, maybe fifteen to seventeen dollar price range. So that was really cool, you know. And then if you collected all six, you ended up with the build a figure Shenron, which is something that the, neither the figure right standard or the SH figure arts do. Of course, for a base, let's just talk about the build a figure at this point. Build a figure Shenron is kind of a disappointment for me. Um, obviously, I don't even, I didn't have. A Shenron statue before we had this they had already released the SH figure arts Shenron so if you had that why the hell would you even want this little thing it's the size comparison is not even close um, I've seen cheaper uh, Shenron statues that you can actually put you know you can place Dragon Balls around and stuff and it's cheaper than this and looks better and has a better stand so for the figure the build a figure itself it was kind of a disappointment for for everybody who didn't have a build a figure Shenron. Um, for everybody who didn't have a Shenron in general, it was pretty good, I would say. But like I said, if you already had SH figure arts and all that stuff, it's kind of redundant to get this just for the build a figure Shenron. That which wasn't worth it, obviously. If you were gonna get these figures, it was mostly because you wanted the figures. Like I said, price range is pretty reasonable, and for everybody who has kids and you know, you don't want to waste a hundred dollars for an SH figure as for a kid who's probably going to break that figure. This is a good option to have. Um, all the hair for these first figures was a little bit sharper, I would say, than the rest of the actual line that we have in the waves after these first initial two waves. Which was, uh, so for me, like I said, these molds were pretty good now for the standouts as far as uh, Beerus and Frieza goes I say they were pretty good for people who don't have these figures especially the Beerus if you didn't have a Beerus SH figures Beerus I think this Dragon Stars was a good placeholder for it until you maybe either got it or maybe you never wanted it but you wanted a Beerus to face off against one of your other figures 
this Beerus was definitely a great buy, in my opinion. Um, now, the Frieza, I would say, is probably the same. Uh, for anybody who didn't have an SH figure art Frieza, uh, or didn't want to waste that much money to buy like the ones that were on sale at the time, because this is the time when we didn't have the new Dragon Ball Super um, SH figure arts Frieza with the Halo. This was when we still only had the original one, and that shit was really expensive online. You know, like, so, unless you wanted a Datong, and even then that was pretty hard to get at this point, too. So, the molds for Frieza, for Vegeta and Goku, I think, were... These were probably some of the best in the whole entire line. The The way the shoulders for Goku moved were awesome. The arms for Vegeta were freaking badass. And I like the molds because you were able to do a lot. Now, the next part that I want to talk about is uh, what could you do as far as a customizer? I think you, you could do a lot of things with this first initial wave. Um, I saw a friend of mine make a uh, combine just the... the, the the Goku and the Vegeta, he combined them both to make a, a really badass Vegeta, which hadn't been done at this point yet. And his, I think, looks a lot better than the official release we ended up getting. So <laughs> that goes to show you just how badass this original first two waves were, man. I think it just the, the way Goku's pants and arms and basically whole design look, minus the derpy face, of course were really freaking awesome um that vegeta was freaking awesome as well like you you could do so much with that one too for the customizing i mean uh and it just looked great obviously scaling is another issue that this these two waves had uh vegeta and frieza are both way too tall and i understand that you know they're they're freaking tall compared to uh but at the same time, because Vegeta is taller, you can do so much more with him. Especially when, with this initial two waves, we had the GameStop exclusive Goku and Vegeta. The clone Goku and Vegeta that were black and red, schemed, basically. The, scholar, the colors were just, a, they were basically repaints, but they were freaking awesome. Um, especially the Vegeta, you could use that one with the Goku head and all that stuff to make a Bardock. Um, you can make a... Saiyan armored Goku from the Cell Saga. Um, you can do a lot of things with this stuff. Like there were so many possibilities. Now, for me, the best thing that I was able to do out of these initial waves, these first two waves, uh, was probably my cooler. That was easily the best thing I was able to make out of this wave. <laughs> That cooler looked so freaking good. And all basically you had to do if you didn't want to go all out. You could just repaint the body and add a world collectible figurehead. And that was it. And easiest freaking thing. And a little bit better to scale, you know, than if you just didn't, you know. Because you, if you had SH figure arts, you had to use a trunk's body and all this freaking stuff to make a, a cooler. And it's cool it's to scale with the things figure arts, but if you just want to make a, a really cool figure for cooler, I mean, this is probably the best second best thing you can do is use this body. I was able to make a regular cooler and I was able to make a meta cooler out of this. So those were my best efforts with this initial two waves. Um like I said, you know, there's issues that we had, the articulation issues, the fact that none of these figures had a, 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 a nab crunch really, really took a lot from this first initial two waves. That's probably the biggest thing that everyone always points out is the fact that you can see the pegs, you know, like all these, uh, all the shoulder pegs and all that stuff. A lot of people hate that stuff because they're used to SH figure arts. Um... The scaling on Beer, uh, Frieza's head was freaking huge for the body, you know. Um, obviously, like I said, Vegeta is way too tall, you know. There's so much stuff that was wrong with this initial thing. And you could see room for improvement. And that's not a bad thing. But at the same time, it was very disappointing for me, people who um, were used to SHV arts. Now, for me, I'm definitely a Dragon Stars guy. 
Um, I like customizing Dragon Stars, especially the fact that there's so many variations now of the figures. And coming up, in, especially in 2019, there's so much stuff that we're going to be able to make with the figures that they're giving us. You know, there's, and SH Figure Arts is very limited. There's so many Gokus, there's so many Vegetas. It's pretty boring. Uh, there are obviously really good figures in, on the SH Figure Arts line, and everybody would, who owns SH Figure Arts will swear up and down that they're the best things that ever came out. And I don't, I don't disagree with that because SH Figure Arts, if you can afford it, easily the best line to have. But for everybody else who, um, you know, has a budget and just likes customizing, you know, and you, you want to be able to do things, definitely the Dragon Stars is a way to go. And uh, I think that's just for the a basic collector too, somebody who doesn't have all the money to be able to do it. And then with the initial lines that we're gonna get to in the next reviews that I have for waves four, five, and I mean three and four, and five and six, there's a lot of little figures that we got in those waves that don't exist in SH Figure Arts, at least not yet. And you know, so. <laughs> That opens up a great possibility. So, yeah, guys. So, what did I think overall about these first initial two waves? Um, I like them. I definitely like them. And they, to this day, they still stand as some of the best Dragon Stars figures of all the lines. Um, as far as versatility goes, you're able to do so much with that Vegeta body. Is, 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 like, big time. You can make great Saiyan, man. You can make Bardock. You can make... Armored trunks, armored. You, you can do so much. You can even make a, uh, a cooler, more to scale with his H figure arts with that body. I think. Um, biggest minuses: no ab crunch. Um, the the faces were kind of derpy on some of them, um, you know. And the build the figure was definitely got let down. But there's like I said, room for improvement, and we're gonna explore that more in the other two videos coming up after this one, guys. So that's all I got to say about this. Remember to visit Franken Culture at frankenculture.com. You can also follow them on on um, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And you can also follow me, Dead Grins Customs, on those same social media platforms. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, let me know what you guys think in the bottom in the in the comment section down below. Do you guys like uh, Dragon Stars? What do you guys think about the line? Do you think they're trash? Do you guys like SH Figure Arts better? Um, do you think they're a good point? Uh, do you like customizing with them? If you have customized with them, please let me know. And uh, let, let me know what you guys think are your favorite customs that you've made. You know, with this original first two lines are. Uh, like I said, for me, Cooler was the best thing that I was able to make. I saw a friend of mine make an outstanding Vegito with it. And, you know, I've seen other people make awesome Bardock. Like, like uh, Kenny Boy's Toys made a badass fucking Bardock with it. He made a badass uh, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and uh, an Ultra Instinct Goku before any of that stuff actually existed with the Dragon Stars. And they were pretty fucking awesome figures, in, in my opinion. So, yeah. All right, guys. For everybody watching this in the morning, good morning. And for everybody else, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.